my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a human being who has found himself being the subject of human experimentation, Morgellons, genetic transvectoring and manipulation, uh, implantation of nanotechnology in my cells, remote neural monitoring, uh, and the list goes on, gang stalking, covert drugging, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I was reading a book today about physiology, health, and psychology, and I've learned some interesting things about pain. According to this book, researchers have done some studies a while back with the functional MRI, which allows you to see which parts of the brain are using glucose at the moment. Uh, therefore, we believe that if the brain is using glucose, it's active, it's firing, it's uh, energized, and that's the part of the brain that's functioning. Um, and using these studies, they compared physical pain, like a broken finger or a poke in the... Anyway, physical pain in the brain where it stimulates and emotional pain in the brain where it stimulates. And they found that the same portions of the brain were being activated by physical or emotional pain. So what that says to me is that emotional pain hurts just as much and in very similar ways to physical pain. And uh, as a targeted human being, I have found that that is somewhat true. And when you combine physical pain with emotional pain, you end up with a lot of pain. Uh, and I keep wondering about this. Why? Why so much to do with pain? I mean, know that, that there's a genetic uh, code for people who don't feel pain anymore, and the, the few people that have this down predisposition to not feel pain usually end up dying at an early age because they don't notice they're bleeding to death or they get an infection or they, you know they're constantly banging and bumping it they don't feel it pain is a, a very important modulator of our behavior and it helps us to keep ourselves safe uh, aversion to pain is uh, a normal thing for most people Although I'm sure there's some that are wired to enjoy pain, and that's the other thing I was thinking about, is this whole thing with the amygdala, supposedly, that uh, the stress and tension and anxiety and pain uh, also activate the amygdala. Maybe I'm crazy, and maybe I'm getting this all wrong, but that at one point, uh, when it's overstimulated, it shunts over to the feelings of pleasure, and um, I don't know, that's somebody else's study. Um, Anyway, that, that was just the main point that researchers are claiming that physical and emotional pain are very similar. And I'm sure that those of you who suffer greatly understand that. Um, the other thing they talked about was how pain is frequently under-diagnosed or under-medicated, depending on class and culture and uh, gender, and all being explored. Anyway, this was old high school science stuff, so thanks for watching. God bless you all.